Hey guys, it's George. Jungkook 7 is finally here. The concept pictures for this were looking spicy, so I'm expecting a spicy MV. As usual, we're going to react to the MV, then afterwards deep dive into the fashion. And if you want to learn more about my fashion background, all of that information is in the description box. Today's video is brought to you by Fashion Chingu, an online store that recreates K-pop and K-drama fashion, meaning you guys can easily recreate your favorite idol's looks. Fashion Chingu has a huge range of clothing collections ranging from BTS, Blackpink, Twilight, Esper, TXT, La Seraphim, and so many more. My favorite thing about Fashion Chingu is that they ship almost worldwide and they offer free shipping on orders over $60. Today I'm wearing Bobby's white pole collared shirt. The details of this shirt are so beautiful. The boxy cut of it, the pearls on the collar, the tucks, the pockets. This shirt is fantastic. As today's video is all about Jungkook 7, let me take you through some of my favorite Jungkook pieces from Fashion Chingu. First up, the black harem cargo pants. I think these are so perfect for those all black grungy vibes. If you want to recreate those looks, these are the pants. So pair of the cargo pants, the black zip up bomber jacket. You know a bomber jacket is an essential piece in JK's wardrobe. Pair this with those pants. Some color next, why not? The hot pink denim jacket. JK looks great in color as much as he does in all black. And I think if you actually cropped this, it would look so fantastic. Put it on, see where it hits you at the waist, at the hips, wherever you want to crop it. Take some scissors, cut it, let those ends fray. The silver adjustable chain ring. I think this is a fantastic piece to have in your collection just because it is such a subtle statement. I'm going to leave the link to Fashion Chingu's website and all of the pieces mentioned in the description box as well as my code that will get you 10% off at checkout, which is GeorgeXJK. GeorgeXJK. Thank you so much to Fashion Chingu for sponsoring today's reaction. Now let's hit play on Jungkook 7. I'm not ready. Lado, ooh, beef. Good on. It's the way that we can ride. The way that we can ride these K-pop boys are horny. <laughs> Scaling the train, she's so over it. Okay, now that I've said these K-pop boys are horny, I'm literally just like reading these lyrics like, ooh, okay. That afterglow, what afterglow are we talking about? <laughs> I just love how over it she is. It's giving me like a very kind of like early noughties R&B vibe. It's making me feel like Craig David. I love this transition. That was so good. Cinematic. <laughs> oh my god, I was trying. <laughs> oh my god. He's like, no, that's my goal. <laughs> Right, but this whole scene is too good. This whole scene. <laughs> Trying to get off of the stretcher and chasing her down the street with sunflowers. Stop. Whips. <laughs> Ooh, this jacket, yes. The quilting, the paneling. Ooh, the wet white. <laughs> Lato is looking Seven different sheets, seven different angles. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Hit me up and I'm a cha cha slide. You make Mondays feel like weekends. I make Mondays feel like weekends. No way. You make Mondays feel like weekends. Everyone else is upset and the girlfriend's like. Mm. I make him never think about cheating. Got you sleeping, working me. Fucking let's sleep in. Yes. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. <laughs> I love the comedic value of this MD. <laughs> Ooh, the leather pants. Ooh. What's this called? My mind has gone blank. But like the knee pads. Such a beautiful detail. Toxic. We're in a toxic relationship. <laughs> Oh, we're making up. Cute, they're gonna go home and have a little makeup. The JK stands, they're pissed, they're holding hands. The song is super cute, the lyrics, you know, a bit cheeky, nowhere near as cheeky as EXO Cream Soda, but I told you, these K-pop boys are horny. They are horny. <laughs> From a fashion standpoint, this is Jungkook written all over it. That is a casual masculine sexiness to it. There's a grunginess to the fashion. And if you saw my BTS Iconic Fashion Moments Jungkook video, we unpacked that whole moment. I'll leave that linked in the description box if you want to go check it out after watching this video. But every single look has like a grungy, sexy, masculine element. Like this is how you'd want your boyfriend to dress. Like this is a vibe. If your boyfriend dressed like this, you would be all up over him. Let's run through JK's seven different looks of the week, starting with Monday. This look is super cute. As I said, there's like a grunginess to it with that printed white t-shirt. And then he's got that beautiful oversized black blazer. You can see that the shoulders look quite sharp. They're extending past his natural shoulder. And then the sleeves look quite wide and they're coming right down to the knuckle. We don't really get to see much of the lower half of the outfit, but I'm presuming it's some kind of black pant with like a black boot, a chunky black shoe, that kind of vibe. Tuesday's look has to be one of my favorites. I think this look is just so hot. The leather jacket zip through. Then it's got those two oversized patch pockets with the poppers, the snaps, whatever you call them the flap really nice detail and then you can see that he's got the white t-shirt he's got that heavy chain around the neck and then the t-shirt's been tucked in to these beautiful like straight leg denim jeans and you can see that there's really cool paneling on them it's just really nice details and again the pieces are quite masculine but the way that they've been styled it gives it a more like smart casual vibe where they've tucked that t-shirt in as i always say it brings the silhouette of the legs up it defines the waist and they've added that black belt so it ties into the jacket into the shoes it's just like a really nice sexy casual look wednesday's look this is like super super casual we're chilling obviously that the laundromat we're just doing laundry you are not going to be like in a suit you know again i really love this look i love the distressed denim how on his left knee the hole is a lot bigger than the right, so different levels of distressing in jean have really nice effects. Sometimes when you get, you know when you buy like distressed jeans and it's like the same distressing on each knee on both, it just looks very like inauthentic. Whereas, you know, these look like they've been worn, authentically turned into that style of jean. And then I really like this hoodie because the hoodie looks a bit distressed as well. And I love the shape of that pocket coming in from the side seam into the middle. And I like how they've styled it just slightly done up. But then he's got that very scoop neck t-shirt with the pendant. Taking me back to the 2010s with all those scoop neck t-shirts. <laughs> Thursday's look, I feel like this is a very kind of like classic men's casual look. The striped t-shirt, then he's got that oversized shirt jacket worn over the top. And then he's got that black wide leg trouser with the chunky boot. Very classic menswear. And the way that each piece fits him is just like spot on. The only thing I don't like with this outfit is the brown belt. 
It's a predominantly black look. So the brown for me just doesn't tie in anywhere and it just really stands out. I don't think this accessory, this belt works with this look, but that's just my personal taste. Friday's look. Friday's look is my favorite, hands down. Just the overall vibe. This is like, you know, I always talk about like sexy, masculine, grungy, like when it comes to JK. And for me, this is just like strong. It's all of those vibes in this look. I love this jacket, obviously. It's black and white. I love the paneling details, the quilting details. I like how the paneling across the chest is asymmetric. It's not symmetrical. It's coming up and dropping back down. And then the lacing detail, you can see those pieces of leather very finely coming down from the sleeve, from the side seam of the jacket. And I like how it's been left out because obviously the seam is like very windy, it's kind of like a typhoon. But the movement of those leather pieces with the weather conditions in this scene, just perfect. The white t-shirt, wear, sexy, the pendant. And then to me, it looks like, I can't really work out if it's a trouser or if it's denim, but again, wide cut, t-shirt tucked in, defined at the waist of a black belt. And then he's got that chunky shoe. I really like the fact that they're styling the t-shirt in with the belt. To me, it just immediately makes the look look more considered, more stylish than just having the t-shirt out hanging loose. Saturday's look, JK's funeral look. Again, we're only getting to really see the top half of it, but I do really like the details. JK is wearing a pinstripe suit that has quite a wide notch lapel. A notch lapel is where your lapel piece comes out the same distance as the collar piece. You can see it very clearly in this shot here. And then he's wearing a point collar shirt. The points are coming straight down. They're very close together. And then he's got that tie bar. I do wonder if there is a waistcoat worn underneath as well, just because it looks like there's something sitting just here. Sunday's look, this has to be another favorite for me. I love these leather pants and how they have that padded knee detail and how it's like the three segments where it's like wide comes in, wide comes in. It's just such a beautiful, beautiful detail. And I like the cut of them the wide leg of the leather trouser and how they're sitting right at his waist and really nipping in that snatched waist. And then the white tank top tucked in, really accentuating that snatched waist. And then the leather jacket, how this looks slightly cropped in length, just ever so slightly, because again, it's hitting him right at the hip, just slightly past those leather pants. I like how this is kind of like a reverse of Tuesday's look because he had the leather jacket with the denim trousers and the chunky boots. This is like the switched version of it. Love this look. Again, a masculine sexiness to it. And a denim jacket is just like an essential wardrobe piece. It is a staple. Not that I have one in my wardrobe, but for most people, it is like a wardrobe essential. So I love how it's been styled here. And this is like a great, way to style it regardless of gender. Seven is super cute. The MV, comedic, whimsical, and just great styling. That is a perfect summary of Jungkook's style. Thank you once again to Fashion Chingu for sponsoring today's video. Don't forget to use my code GEORGEXJK at checkout for 10% off. And as always, thank you so much for watching. A massive thank you to everyone who subscribed. You're honestly the best. And I'll see you guys in my next video on Sunday. Apple Fashion is back, so I shall see you then. Bye guys. Bye bye.